All right, Chilbo Baggins. Let's see if I can get these out of here. Well, Kimi and I, we're gonna have to try to do it together because we haven't done these yet. These are um, cat camp lounge, like couch chairs that you can sleep on too. Um, we probably won't sleep on them tonight. I don't know if we'll use them. It's kind of a, if we were here longer, we would probably use them a lot. We might use them a lot more than I think. I don't know, we're gonna check it out. Come in a lot of different patterns, a lot of different styles. This is called the Chilbo Swagons. Uh, Tammy can open hers, and then I'll open mine. I got a camo one. Then we got some pretty cool design. Here's what it looks like. Comes in its own little carrying case in the design of your Chilbo Swagons, I guess, unless this is part of it. I don't know. Maybe it's just part of it. Nope, it's actually a carrying case with a, a tie down, looks like, so it doesn't blow away. I'll have to open that up and check that out. With a tie down in the pouch with the carrying case. Right, let's see what this thing is. Here's what it looks like. It's got a little clip. You can roll it up. And when you open it up, this thing's huge. Still both wagons. Now they say, I'll have to read it, but basically you try to open this up. And what I saw online. Okay, to catch you up, uh, there is no like uh, air nozzle or any way to fill this up. You have to do it by motion, so stay tuned. You hold this. You don't need that. That's just the one that's on top of You got to blow this up by running around and blowing it up. If I get more air in it, it'd be even better, but you can roll this up as tight as you want. Clip it off. And then you got this chair. It's got a thing so you can't fall down the middle. Oh boy. How'd that go? And you just chill. This is great. I could sleep in this. I could sleep in this. Easily. I feel like I'm on air. Like on a cloud. I feel like I'm laying on a cloud. It's comfortable. I need to get some more air in it somehow though. Because this thing is not enough. That was the biggest complaint online was that you couldn't get enough air in it. Rick, keep trying. I want to see Tammy try to blow hers up. Chill both wagons. I'm going to keep trying to blow this thing up and we'll bring you guys back. Okay, so there is a QR code here that you can scan to get a master class and getting your lounger set up. Um, it says step one, remove the carry bag and unroll your chill both wagons until it's fully extended and shake it out a few times to ensure the inner lining is not stuck to itself. 
Step two, take a moment to examine the chill boast wagons and note the two openings that have a plastic lining. Holding the bag with the top panel nice wide open, walk or run into the wind, there is no wind today, as the pockets fill with air. Do a quick swoop that brings the chillbow from slightly behind you to in front of you. That quick swoop is the key to mastery. Close panels immediately to prevent air escaping. So open the second pocket and repeat the process. So you do it one pocket at a time. And then once the air pockets are about 70% inflated, hold the back panel at either end rolling over at least four or five times and then clip it together. Should be a full lounger instead of just a one seater. Um, so we're gonna try it again. They do give you a couple patches in case it tears, I guess. And then if you need a little help, patches it says. So this is a clip. You can clip on your thing and then I think you can clip it to your chill bow and stake it down so it doesn't blow away in the wind. So that's cool. Put that back in the pouch, uh, back in the bag actually, and then back in the pouch with all this stuff. So I have the pouch, the patches, and the steak, and uh, we'll try to get both these. I'll try to do a backwards moat, quick motion, ninja motion. See if I can get this thing load up. They said that the backwards ninja motion, Tammy, is what they said is the key to blowing it up. We'll see. And you gotta do one panel at a time. Alright. Let's do this. No wind. Said one panel at a time. The top, the top panel. Nice and wide. Then. So I found out that actually uh, a quick uh, kind of gentle motion holding it open and just allowing the air to enter the two sides was the best way. You don't have to force it in, you just have to make sure there's air and then seal it off. That worked. That's pretty good. I didn't think it worked. It's comfortable. I can see how this thing would blow away if you didn't stick it down. Alright, so there's the chill boat swag and you can put it this way. Or you can put it this way and then it does still say chill boat wagons. And uh, this is the top so you don't fall down in there. I was sitting it on the other way, and it still says chill boat wagon. And you can sit down in there a little further. So, less or more. And it's comfortable. You just roll it up till it's tight and get the ninja move down. Pretty, pretty cool. I could definitely sleep on that. And I can see myself fishing off that down at the river. Pretzel bun. Excuse me. Hot mustard, pickles, beer cheese, bacon, spicy chicken. Windy spicy chicken pub burger. Trying to get out from right. his feet. All right, so Tammy's getting her chillbow baggins out. Here's her design. Like bright colored, gypsy ish. Very gypsy colorish. All right, now here's how you do it. I'm gonna walk you through it. Wait, wait, wait. Make wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Open it up. Make sure none of the plastic's sticking inside there. Reach down there, kind of shake it out. Make sure none of it's sticking together. <coughs> Both sides, and then lay it sideways. And the top one, you're gonna open up all the way. There's going to be two sides. 
the top one you're going to open up all the way, the bottom one you're going to hold. And you want it like laying down behind you. You want it laying down behind you and you want to twist in a circle motion out in front. Trying to fill that up with air. Yeah. Real fast. And do it a few times. There you go. But quick. Not running. Just like twist. There you go. Like that. Like that. And you want to do a bunch of it. Shaking it. Jerking it. So it really fills up with air and loosens it up. And then when you get the one side full, then you want to do the other side. And while you're blowing this up, it's entertainment for everyone else in the campground. <laughs> so that's the fun part about it. No yeah, it is. You got to open it up, open it way high before you spin. Only one side, too. Make sure it's all the way open. Just fill it up with all the air you can. There you go. Now close that and do the other side. Yep. Go from behind. Yeah, there you go. Do it a couple more times. Wide open. Wide open. Run with it now. Wide open. There you go. Look at that. It's filling up. Wide open. Wide open. Wide open. Wide open. All right. Now stop and roll. Stop and roll. Stop and roll. Wait. Do the other side. That Hey, that one side you just had open was way full. Get the other side full, that full. You did that. That was good running around. I did way better than what we were doing. The, yeah, that one. Leave the other side closed. Now run around and do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now stop and roll. Stop and roll. Stop and roll. Stop and roll. Four or five times at least until it starts getting real hard. No, make sure your clips don't get disappear because you got to use them. There, there. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Now pull it together and clip. All right, now this side's lower and this side's higher. Actually, you hold this. I'm going to roll it one more time because it's still a little loose. You gotta do this real tight. There's two, there's two clips here. There's a button here, a button here. So don't come undone. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, I felt clipped. Oh, there we go. All right. Now try it out. Yours is nice and tight. <laughs> Perfect. And if you're not, um, if you don't get it that tight, you can prop it up against like a wall or your car or something and use it like a chair too. Or you can sit on it sideways like a couch. Like try to sit on it, sit on it. Sit in the middle. There you go. See? It's like a lounger. Yeah, boy. And it folds up into a tiny little bag. Isn't that sweet? And it's durable. Good on rocks. Uh, they use it in mountains and all kinds of different, do quit pulling, all kinds of different situations, so should be pretty durable. We're going to have to let these out or they won't fit in the car. Alright, so we'll show you how to deflate them. Just unroll it. Make it from the other end. The flat side, see how there's two different areas, you want to flatten it out. Start rolling it up. Let all the air out the other end. And then you'll twist and fold it into the bag. Just like you did when you... When you uh, closed it up. So, pretty simple. Folds up really nice and compact. I can get it even smaller than that. With a few twists. And, uh, yeah, it's smaller than a camp chair. Bigger than a camp chair. And you can sleep on it. So, pretty cool product, and I'm glad we got them. Do I have stuff all over my face? No. From supper? No mirror, so it would be okay. Peach all. One thing I want to add is these uh, signs on the side are pockets for things. If you are going to camp or sleep, both sides have like pockets you can store, whatever, flashlights, your phone, all that kind of stuff. We want to thank the Vineyard Chicks, Mary Ranch, and the Timbrook family for being long-term Patreon supporters. 
Their links are in our description.